Today marks 10 days after installing six four pound packages of Italian bees into my AZ hives. This was my first ever inspections in these new hives, so I wasn't sure exactly what to expect, but I was super excited to test out all of the awesome features that these hives boast. It took a little stumbling through the first hive to get a good feel for how to handle the frames. Unlike Langstroth frames, the AZ frames don't have a specified top or bottom, and this did take a little getting used to. I struggled at the start trying to figure out what was the most comfortable way for me to hold the frames. I didn't want to squish any bees, and it felt a little odd not to have the tabs that I'm used to holding the laying frames by. That being said, it didn't take too long to get the hang of the new frames, and I found my rhythm fairly quickly after working through the first hive. Actually, once I got the hang of how to best handle the frames, I was surprised at how easy it was to place them back into the hive correctly using the frame spacers that are located inside the hive and on the screen door. I anticipated a bit more of a struggle with this, uh, as I'd heard it can be tough to get the hang of, but I guess I practiced enough with my empty hives because it felt pretty natural to me. Okay, so one thing I realized about working on my lower level hives is that I need to invest in a stool. Kneeling wasn't the worst thing ever, but being able to sit and inspect my hives comfortably is part of the benefits of working in a bee house. The mood in the bee house was super chill the entire time, and on an interesting side note, I did use my smoker for each hive, but only very lightly at the beginning of each inspection. It was shocking how calm the bees stayed throughout the entire inspections without having to add any more smoke. Thanks for watching today. If you're like me and you've been stung by the AZ bug, hopefully this video helps give you a better idea of what it's like to work with these hives. I'll be posting recaps of all my inspections this year and plan to tackle different topics along the way. So stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to follow along.